There we go, boys. The developers knows for May there's a new server that's coming up, the Europe server. So that means if you're a new player, uh, I mean, you're, you're thinking about spending some money in the game. Maybe you spent a bit of money already. I would say that uh, make this a test run. Make the global server uh, like a test uh, run. Learn as much as you can and just like start on Europe. I mean, it's going to be a fresh start. That's really cool. I'm actually gonna start a new account on the Europe server as well. And uh, yeah, that should be a lot of fun, super exciting. And there were so many changes that were implemented into the game, so many tweaks. Oh, it, it's crazy. Also, we, uh, we know which limited banners are gonna uh, happen uh, for a while. We kinda know uh, the, the events and all that that are gonna uh, happen. So uh, there's no surprise, you can save up your uh, Covenant bookmarks, your Sky Stones and go for the limited heroes if you if you want them. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's going to be super exciting. So there's that, they are also adding new languages. Um, right now it's English, traditional Chinese and Korean. They are adding German, French, Spanish and Portuguese. Good, good, and this is this is a typo. Um, so May the thirtieth update information. They are saying that uh, there was a big increase in the size of their uh, developers team. So they want to bring a bunch of new content to us and improve the game, expand on new content already created. They're saying that on a daily basis, more than ten thousand new players download Epic Seven, and. Uh, it's kind of hard to like digest all the information in this game so they're adding new guides uh, so what that means for uh, players that are already playing the game and uh, that means like we're gonna get a bunch of rewards you just complete these steps like here see we're gonna get all these uh, types of re uh, rewards and uh, on the left side we see aspiring adventure but then there's other categories uh, growing adventure adept adventure there's another one below that uh, I mean this list could go on for a while. There's a feature tracking quest at the top right So a bunch of rewards. Uh, it's gonna help a lot of players. Oops help a lot of players uh, with uh, understanding how the game uh, works initially So really cool things there. Uh, I did actually the patch note for the 22nd of May already in my previous video and uh, let's continue with uh, What we have in these uh, developers notes there's also uh, yeah, special a specialty change, new specialty change for Montmorency. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her uh, name right. So wait a second here. They're talking about all these new guides to help new players. Mm. All right, so here it is. So Montmorency uh, specialty change. She. Uh, she provides immunity, she removes debuffs. The issue right now with her is that if you don't have any debuff and you use skill 2, uh, you don't get the heal. You, you need to have a debuff to be healed, so that's really unfortunate. And also skill 3 only applies immunity on uh, one target at a time and heal, heals them. Uh, you have to soul burn for 20 souls if you want the effect of immunity to be uh, spread across your whole team. Uh, which is not so strong. I mean, uh, yeah, you definitely want immunity early on if you don't have the souls You can't make that happen, but we'll see what happens with the specialty change. It might uh, bring her uh, I mean bring her up uh, To to par with uh, maybe Angelica We never never know but uh, I doubt she's gonna be that strong It's just she might do a uh, different things. She might do yeah do things differently We'll, uh, we'll see what happens with that, but you can start farming your uh, water runes to be ready. If you, let's say, don't have Angelica, you definitely need, uh, you're in uh, dire need of uh, dispelling and immunity. Uh, start working on that. that, that's definitely a good thing to do. Uh, episode 2 preview, uh, the side story with Destina, that's like part, oh, episode two. yeah, this thing the side story a concerto of light fire and ice starts uh may the 20th uh, 22nd tomorrow and uh yeah there's gonna be they're really gonna release more details on episode two 
on June the 9th. Okay, so that's it. But uh, I want to talk about the server. Wow, man, that that's crazy though. That's that's super exciting. Uh, starting from scratch, like you know, from all the knowledge we accumulated, um, re-rolling, like the amount of re-rolling that's gonna be done on that new server is gonna be crazy. Uh, you can just go for uh, whichever heroes you're. I mean, you like the most, uh, the most efficient hero for whatever you want to farm early on. Uh, be it uh, one of the hunts, uh, be it for arena guild war, whatever you can, you can go crazy with that. I'll make uh, some videos about uh, the selective summon. There are so many different possibilities. There's some of them that are so crazy, so hard to obtain. But if you get them, that's like such a good start. Like I'm talking something like. Uh, Imagine pulling uh, Vildred and Angelica. That that would be just crazy. Uh, imagine starting with Ken and Akatis together. Uh, there's just so many po possibilities. Like you could uh, roll a bunch of four stars in the same uh, in the same roll. You could have like a a solid four star artifact. No, it could be a solid like super strong five star artifact with like a few uh, four star heroes. You could have like a soul weaver in there. You could have uh, like imagine that like you you pull um, um, what could it be? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's just so many different uh, possibilities. I could just go here in the journal, but uh, just quickly, yeah, we we know the orders of uh, which heroes are going to be released in and uh, the events. Uh, we know uh, the mystic summons. It's all gonna be repeating itself uh, probably. I don't know if they're gonna start it where we currently are in the game now and uh, Maybe I don't know exactly That's that's because when Korean server uh, When the global release that was 197 days ago uh, We started getting the same like uh, heroes as the Korean server but it took a while before we start seeing banners of uh, previous, uh, like Luna, like they had it for a long time and it, it took a, a really long time for us to, to get Luna. So we'll see how they're going to handle that. And uh, yeah, really exciting, fresh start. So I mean, Selective Summon is pretty much like if we just go and summon here, it's going to be faster. Go here. You see like the initial five star heroes at the top of the list are part of the selective summon and it stops at uh Okay, wait a second here. Crow you fin They had banners. Destina can be gained from selective summon cuz when you have uh, you have the the feature unlocked after 1-10, you uh you see which heroes you can actually obtain from the selective summon and i know that all the top heroes can be gained out of it and there's a part where it stops in the list heroes that she cannot obtain i know haste you cannot get it uh, get him from the selective summon even though he's really powerful uh Euphine, Krau, tenebra yeah, I feel at Tenebria it it stops. So it's Destina and all the heroes above her that she can obtain, and all the all the four stars and all the three stars, fire, uh, fire, ice, uh, and earth that she can get. So really, there there's so many different combinations that you could pull. Um, it could be a five star artifact with like one four star hero and solid. A solid roster of three star it's definitely uh, hard it takes a long time to actually get uh, the selective summon that you might want if you have a specific one in mind I mean maybe you're going for something uh, really hard to obtain or you're just going for something not not that that hard maybe you're going for Angelica with uh, 
I mean, Karen, that, that's actually a, a really solid start. It depends what you're gonna be farming early on in the hunts. If you're going for a uh, Wyvern 11, you're trying to rush Wyvern 11, I mean, there are some heroes that can help you out there. Um, I mean, Tarnar Guard, we, we know he's super strong in there. We, you could be going with uh, Angelica and uh, Tarnor Guard, that could be a simple start. But you can also go with, like imagine if you, well you don't need these, uh, these artifacts really uh, that, that, that much. You could imagine a uh, rod of Amaryllis and Angelica together. Uh, you could have Shimadra Staff, Angelica together. You could have uh, Tarnor Guard with uh, Sigurd Sight. Uh, I mean, it's not really... F Tarnagar is going to be running Daydream Joker if you want to be optimal in, uh, in Wyvern 11. But there's a lot of different possibilities. Some of the uh, the things in here cannot be gained, like uh, Noble Oath, Celestine, Access Basket, like all the, the ones below, uh, I think, yeah, Time Uberius Toot. Below uh, Uberius Toot for the 5-star artifacts, you cannot get any of those. But uh, all the ones above, you can get those. There's also like, you could start with, let's say, you could go mm -mm -mm, Rihanna and Luciella, and you're like, all right, um, I'm gonna go for Kron uh, when he gets released. I mean, K that's not a good example, but uh, I mean, if you know you're gonna go for a rate of banner in the future, like, uh, I don't know, you want to get uh, whatever hero. It could be Bellona, right? You could start off and get Bloodstone now with uh, a four-star hero. There's so many different possibilities. But what I started with uh, initially was actually uh, Akates with uh, Kyrus. Uh, Kyrus, just like 5% damage, 5% uh, of the uh, target's health and damage for every tick. She applies poison like crazy. So I was using her with the Katis for Golem. That was before Golem 11. And now when Golem 11 got released, like it was stronger to use fire heroes. Uh, other heroes would uh, would receive 30% more damage and fire heroes would deal 30% 30, 30 more damage to the Golem. So it's uh, it changed things up. But now like imagine you start off, you have Ken and Akathis. I mean... <laughs> You, you're gonna destroy Golem early on and uh, I mean that's two heroes already out of your your team of four and uh, I mean you could just early on you could have Mascot, Hazel, Akates and Ken your uh, your fort uh, could be uh, I mean a number of things you're not gonna have Soul Bad Guy early on I don't know how they're gonna proceed with the Europe server I don't think they're gonna release the uh, Guilty Gear collaboration at the start but uh, you could have Carmen Rose as your fourth. Uh, that, that could be your Golem team. Boom, you have it. Uh, I mean, Ken, it's going to be really hard. Like, Ken and Akatis to roll that, that's just insane, really. It's like uh, the other one I'm talking about, Vildred and Angelica. That's just insanely hard to obtain these two together. But Vildred, now you can destroy Banshee and uh, Azumanak Hunt with uh, Vildred. It's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I really want to start with Vildred because you can use him in PvP. Uh, you can use him, like I said, in these two hunts. But uh, of course, he's not going to be a top tier hero for the Abyss. But PvP is a huge part of this game and you get a lot of uh, free Sky Stones out of it. So uh, yeah, but then, then if you go Vildred, you kind of uh, are going for a Speed Cleave team. So like if you're going for him, but you want to farm Banshee... That's not going to work so well because you kind of need to get as much speed as possible. So you might pull for him, but then you kind of have to farm Wyvern 11 if you really want to maximize on his damage and start first in PvP. Well, up until uh, uh, ML Bell gets released and the meta starts changing. Well, I really wonder how they're going to deal with uh, all those uh, Moonlight heroes. Are they going to be released? In the same order, will the game start with, uh, you know, Guild Wars straight off the bat, or are they gonna uh, 
have a delay like uh, I don't know a month or a few months before they release the Guild Wars. Uh, I feel like they should delay some things because it's just gonna be way too much all at once. But uh, yeah, I'm really curious how they're gonna handle all this. Even though if, like, if they release all the, the content at the same time, I mean like if Guild Wars is there at the start, eh, it's fine, but it's gonna be a bit too much for new players. Uh, it really depends how they're gonna handle though, like how these guides to help new players are gonna be working. But there's a lot of free rewards in there, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll make uh, other videos about uh, the selective summons and uh, different combination that you guys can go for. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, yeah get ready for that. That is, I don't know exactly when that new server is gonna come out. To to be honest, they didn't spec uh, specify, but they said that May uh, the 30th. That's update information. Europe server could be could be in June, uh, no specific date. That's the dev notes in for May, but they might this might be all stuff for uh, month of June. So the Europe uh, server could be happening uh, anytime during uh, the month of June. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Uh, <laughs> I've already played two accounts now with uh, another one in Europe. Uh, that's gonna be quite crazy on top of uh, uh, getting content for you guys. And also, uh, what's the other thing I wanted to get at? Yeah, when you uh, when you have your, let's say uh, I have this account, right? I can go to the home screen and I can change the region and I could go on the Korean server, on the Asia server, and there's gonna be like the Europe server is gonna show up there. So you could use uh, the same account. Now, uh, the thing that I, that I have not tested is uh, if you have, uh, let's say you're using uh, your email, whatever, it's synced with the game. I wonder if, uh, you log in in different region on the same account with the same email is is that gonna work or are you gonna get kicked off your uh, from your other region uh, let us know in the comment section guys because I have not tested it so I guess I'll just have another email set up I kind of prefer to do it that way uh, use a different email and uh, have another phone and uh, have the everything rolling at the same time but uh, I know there's gonna be a lot of players because this game actually works on emulators and they did not ban emulators well yet or maybe they, they'll never do it but uh, when you have emulators it's 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 much easier to do selective summon all at once but you you're not supposed to do any uh, uh, what is called uh, automation you're not supposed to run some script to like do uh, the quest for you on all that stuff because you're you're probably just gonna, just gonna get your account banned if you do that as you can see like every what is it every month they're banning like thousands and thousands of accounts uh people that might be exploiting things they're using uh modified uh, uh game file uh some might probably be automating and stuff like that uh so yeah i would be cautious and avoid doing that but when you're using uh an emulator i mean there's always players that don't get caught and uh i, I know like it I've run emulators before on my computer. Right now, using phones is uh, the ideal thing for me. But uh, yeah, with an emulator, you can be, uh, let's say you're going for a specific Moonlight Summon uh, after you finish normal difficulty in uh, Adventure. I mean, you could be running multiple games at once and go for a specific Moonlight Hero to start off your account. Of course, having Martial Artist Ken is a massive deal if you even if you're free to play and you have martial artists can i mean you can be in champion and legend uh pretty easily if you support your uh, martial artist can properly or i mean if you have cigarette sight with martial artist can man you these two things together is just insanely powerful uh you, you have martial artist can with that and the right equipment and the right effect resistance and all that you can like solo teams no, no problem uh it is uh extremely overpowered uh, but yeah some players uh, might be going uh, with the crazy rerolls for the moonlight summons most players just go for selective it's definitely uh, quite a grind, grind to, to go for a specific moonlight hero and uh, we'll see which one they, they have released uh, at the, the launch of that uh, Europe server I feel like it's gonna be uh, the same as uh, 
global release. It's just they're gonna release the the other heroes and uh, I mean the ice, earth, and uh, fire heroes, and also the moonlight heroes. Kind of the same way they're doing it with global and uh, uh, Korean server and uh, the uh, uh, Asia server. We'll see. So yeah, very excited about that. Let me just do a, my summon here. I actually, oh wow, okay, never mind. I guess I'll do it uh, in my PvP arena video. Anyways, check out my other videos, guys. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Gameplay uh, videos of all sort. Uh, so arena, uh, guild wars. Also, I have uh, playlists for guide tips and how tos, and another one for Abyss Floor 62 plus. Uh, a lot of information in there. So if you're stuck, if you're having difficulties, I talk about. Uh, multiple different uh, different things fight mechanics team composition what you should bring and all that so yeah check those out if you haven't and definitely hit that subscribe button guys all right peace out for now